Okay, this video is going to show you how to construct a triangle when we've been given three sides. So we've been told that we've got a side of seven centimetres, five centimetres and three centimetres. Um, to do this, we're going to firstly need to take our uh, ruler out and we're going to draw the, the longest side, which is seven centimetres. So using my pencil, I'm going to draw a line from zero to seven centimetres. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to um, create sides of five centimetres and three centimetres. And to do that, we're going to need our compass, or our pair of compasses, and our ruler. So to get a side of five centimetres, I'm going to match up my needle with a zero on my ruler. And then I'm going to open out my compass to five centimetres. So I'm going to open it up to five centimetres. I'm then going to move, making sure, being really, really careful that I don't change the size. I'm going to put the needle to one end of my line and I'm going to draw an arc. Okay. Next thing I need to do is open it up to three centimetres. So I move it along to three centimetres and this time the needle has to go on this end. So I'm going to turn my compass round, make sure the needle matches up right with the end of the um, end of the line on the right hand side. And now I'm going to draw another arc. Moving the pair of compasses away, I can see that I've now got an intersection. So again, we're looking for an intersection between two, um, two arcs. So using my ruler, and a pencil, I can then join up each end of my original line to that point to create my um, triangle. Again, we can check that. We're going to need to um, twist our ruler and then measure the length. This one should be five centimetres, which you can see it is zero to five. And then we're going to also have to check this length here, which you can see is three centimetres. Our final step is going to be to label them. So three centimetres, seven centimetres and five centimetres. And we must leave leave in the construction lines, okay? You must leave in your construction lines so that whoever's marking your work can see that you use construction rather than just guessing how to do it. Okay, good luck. <laughs> 